Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this super avant-garde look. We're just going to jump right in. Okay, so the first step in this look is going to be tracing out the square in the center of our face. So I chose to do mine so it was big enough so it would kind of go almost halfway across my eyes. And I'm just tracing this out with a lip liner, something that's easy to remove if you mess up, which I definitely did. And then going in with the cream white, no it's called color white, I always call it the wrong name. Color white for Makeup Forever, just going around the square with a flat brush to make sure we get a nice, precise, crisp line around the box. And then for the rest of the face to fill that in, just going around with a bigger brush. And since this is a cream product, we will want to set that with a powder, so I'm going to be setting this with a white powder from MAC. I believe it's called Shivering White. So I'm just applying that all over the white part of the face with a big fluffy brush. And going in with this color stick from Makeup Forever. I absolutely love these for color and contouring. They blend out so nicely as you can see. So I wanted to choose a really deep turquoise shade. That, something that was really going to pop against the white base that we have. And just give a really nice contrast. So I am just focusing this on the cheekbones, the forehead, or the hairline, and then the jawline as well. Making sure that blends out really nicely into the white so we don't have any harsh lines going on there. And then I'm highlighting the white part of the face just with a gold highlighter from Lime Crime from their Opal Highlight Palette. And taking these two blue shades from the Urban Decay Basquiat collection, I am just taking that just on the white part of the eye. So we are not going to be touching the inner part of the box yet, we're just going to be focusing on the outer part and making sure that lines up correctly with the square. And for the outer part of the brow, I'm just going in with this turquoise color ink. Going back into the eye with the darker blue from that palette, just really focusing that on the outer corner and not blending that out too much. And again, just making sure that all lines up with the white box. And taking the white color ink from Makeup Forever, I'm just applying that on the bottom lip just to make sure that it is super white. And for the center part of the face, we are going to be keeping this super, super natural. So it's a really nice contrast against what we have going on on the outer part. So if you have nice skin, you don't have to do this, but I chose to go in with a concealer. Just make sure you're being extra careful when you're going around the box. And I did choose to go over my lip as well, because I really just wanted it to look like a blank canvas. And just keeping the brows really natural in the inner part, just going over that quickly with HL for Makeup Forever in their lightest shade. And taking this gold powder for Makeup Forever, it is time to get messy on this outer part. So I am just applying that with my finger. I mixed it a bit with some water. And then I'm just going in straight with my finger because I feel like that helps the pigment pop the most. And taking a couple of these copper shades, um, the left one is from Peaches and Cream Makeup and the right one is Penelope from Sugar Pill. I'm just going to be applying those, again, just being really careful when you're going around the box, so just be super precise on that area. And then again, I mix these pigments with water and I'm just applying them with my finger, kind of on random parts of the face. I wanted it to look super metallic and almost kind of like rusty looking. And taking this gold leaf that I got from Michael's Craft Store, I am just laying down a bit of a glitter base and then I am applying the gold leaf right on top. And once I have it placed down on the face, I just take the end of a brush and kind of just mess it up a little bit so it doesn't look like a perfect edge because I feel like it gives a much nicer effect with the gold leaf. And then again, just lining it up with the edge of the square when going around that area. And then yeah, just basically apply as much of that as you would like 
And for any other parts of the skin that are going to be exposed, so for me it was the neck, chest, and shoulders, I am just going in with more of the color white and then contouring the neck with more of that cream stick, just layering that until I get the intensity that I want and then just making sure I blend that out. And then just for some added texture and color, I chose to go in with the turquoise color ink and I just applied that kind of sporadically on a brush, super messy like too. And then I'm just contouring the shoulders with more of the color stick. And then basically we are just doing here what we did to the face, just adding some gold leaf, adding some pigments, just basically you can do as much of this part as you would like. And I did lay down the glitter base underneath the gold leaf and then I'm just going in and kind of messing it up with a brush. And then adding eyeliner on the outer part of the eye, we are going to keep the inner part just natural. And then I chose to glue down a little piece of a false lash just on the outer part of the eye. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I created this super avant-garde look. This original look was inspired by Roshar, I believe, so I will have him linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!